this video will show you a step by step guide to complete your OEX long testnet with the right process. So stay tuned to the end so you get the full process on this and very well explained. So let's begin. Now, first of all, you would need to import your MetaMask wallet to either your MySys or Kiwi browser. So we did a video for how to import to your MySys browser. Make sure to watch that and you will be able to do that. So you have to have a wallet that has at least 0 0.01 core because you need that for the fees. And yes, the site is working optimally as it should. But let's still continue. First of all, the link is going to be in the description box and also in our Telegram and WhatsApp channel so you can get it from whichever of these places you want to. So the link to the faucet is going to be there and there is no new faucet yet but there is less traffic that means that you're going to receive your funds so make sure that your wallet has the call so once you go to the faucet for the testnet using the links then you will see to connect your web3 wallet what you have to do is to click there and wait for the connection to show after selecting the words you want to connect to click on next and then click on connect to connect the wallet and then wait for it to redirect you back to the faucet now you need to claim the testnet usdt what you have to do click testnet usdt and also wait for a transaction to pop up then click on confirm to confirm the transaction and as you can see you only need 0 0.01 so it is very small at least 0 0.002 call as the fees required to get it and your token claim is submitted with about 10 blocks for confirmation so go over to your wallet and then you can see the contract interaction is confirmed they have taken the fees go back to the faucet and then click on add long testnet once you click on add long testnet allow it to show and it is going to add the long testnet as part of your change so approve of it once you click on approve allow it to switch the network then you go back to your wallet and you can see it over here zero usdt and I'm still waiting for the USDT to show. So let's wait for some time. Well, guess what I got? I got 5 USDT instead of 10. Well, this is pretty not how it's supposed to be. But hopefully you get 10 once you do it. So once you've gotten it, go back to the faucet page. Now click on testnet swap. Once you click on testnet swap, it's going to take you to pancake swap. But this is only going to be testnet, so you're not going to be buying real tokens, neither are you going to be selling real tokens. None of it is real. This is not the real pancake swap. It is their own swap this thing, but it just looks identical. So as you can see, the OEX price, if you were to put in one USDT, what will it be? The OEX price here is 3.16. If you release at that price, of course, we're all going to be happy, but the likeness of it is also very grim. But what you have to do is if you have 10, you can swap 5 USDT. But since I have 5, I'm just going to swap 2.5 to OEX. Or what you can do is to swap all. Okay, so click on connect wallet first, then use whichever wallet that you want to use. I'm going to use MetaMask. Of course, it's always preferable that you use MetaMask when you use MySys and your Kiwi browser. So wait for it to load to connect your wallet. Select the wallet, connect, click next, and then click on connect. Once that is done and your wallet is connected, I'm just going to put max, which is five, and then swap. Confirm the swap, wait for the confirmation, and after a while, it, it will swap but before the swap you need a confirmation transaction and you have to just click on confirm the transaction is submitted click on close but before you click on close click on add oak ex to wallet so that you can see your own oex tokens in the testnet then add the token once that is done you can now click on close then you just have to swap OEX to USDT swap around half so it's 1.5 I am going to swap 0 0.75 which is 2.3 so enable the OEX 
and then also confirm it from your MetaMask. Then change the custom spending cap by clicking on Max. Once you click on Max, then go Next before clicking on Approve button. It will redirect you back to the swap. After enabling it, then it is going to show you to swap. So click on the swap button and then confirm the swap. Wait for the confirmation and the transaction to pop up on your screen. Then as we've done before, click on confirm to confirm the transaction. Then after it is done, the transaction is submitted. And that is basically all that you need to do for the testnet. Make sure to just do it. It is not compulsory, but I'd advise you do it as it helps you to know how to do transactions when the mainnet comes and of course the mainnet is coming very soon and the token will list very soon so you never know if testnet can give you rewards before going however make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn the notification bell and like the video i hope i've been able to give you a very detailed guide for this and if you have any question make sure to ask in the comment section or join our telegram and ask under leave a comment we'll see you till then